This is Jim Jordan with a Healthcare Minute brought to you by the Pittsburgh Life Sciences Greenhouse. The Pittsburgh Life Sciences Greenhouse model is about aligning the customer needs with investment trends and acquirer purchase cycles. Let's start with an understanding of what are the major health system components and what does the structure look like. This is a visual of the entire healthcare system. We start at the top with the payers, those who fund the system. We have individuals in the middle that focus on specific diseases or specific kinds of care. We have the traditional retailers such as the pharmacies. We have alternate site providers, surgery centers, physician offices, and nursing homes. We finally have the hospitals. The hospitals, the alternate site, and the retailers make up the providers. They get their products from the manufacturers. The manufacturers frequently will utilize distributors to get the products to the right places. However, frequently they will also, the manufacturers, sell directly. The provisions for the Affordable Care Act started their implementation in 2010, so we're entering our fifth year of health care reform. There are 90 major acts over the years that the PLSG has been following, and out of those 90 major acts, only eight are remaining to be implemented. Bundling the eight remaining issues into two topics, we have affordability and subsidies, and we have insurance and wellness programs remaining. As reform is completing, its implications are simply that market models are stabilizing. The implications on us are allowed the following conclusions. We're starting to have predictability in our business models. This marks the beginning of new market cycles. And of course, new market cycles are to the benefit of startup companies. This is a Healthcare Minute from the Pittsburgh Life Sciences Greenhouse.